Hello, students. Welcome to today's lesson. Um, I'm so glad to see you all today. Um, but before we get into the lesson, again, if you haven't yet and you want to know when I go live and when I post new lessons, all of that, um, you can subscribe to me on YouTube. Um, you can also uh, follow me on Facebook, and I think you can turn on notifications both on YouTube and Facebook, um, and that will let you know when I go live. And uh, you can also follow me on TikTok now. Okay, so it looks like some people are in the chat now. Welcome. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. Um, yes. So today's lesson is going to be about um, the top five um, most common uh, phrasal verbs in English. Okay, so top five, my top five um, phrasal verbs. And stick around until the end because there's going to be a quiz at the end and we're gonna test your knowledge, okay? We'll see how much you can remember from the lesson. Hello, everyone, welcome, I hope you're ready. Okay, we're gonna start, so I'm gonna bring up here. Okay, so top five phrasal verbs in English. So we're looking at some of the most common phrasal verbs, okay? so. The first one we're going to look at, da, 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 da. stock up, stock up. Have you heard this one before? So when we say stock up, um, the meaning is to get a large quantity of something for later use. Um, and we often use stock up on stock up on something okay hello from costa rica welcome and uh, yeah don't forget to tell me what country you're watching from um we have so many countries so yes oh yes long time no see hello Dvashka, hello okay so meaning is to get a large quantity of something for later use so if you um, need a lot of something, if you know that, for example, a storm is coming, we need to get lots of supplies. You could stock up on supplies. Or if you know that something is on sale, for example, oh, tissues are on sale. Let's stock up on them, okay? Let's stock up on them. So that means you're going to buy many, Oops, we're going to buy many, 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 and then you're going to use them later, okay? Hello from Mexico, Saudi Arabia, nice. Okay, so here is my example sentence. We made sure to stock up on food and supplies before the typhoon hit, okay? So we knew the storm was going to come, so, okay, we need lots of food. Maybe we need um, like batteries, things like that. So we made sure to stock up on food and supplies, okay? So buying a large quantity of something. Very good. Hello from Dallas, Texas. Oh my gosh. Welcome, Nicaragua. Hello, Olivia. Okay, everybody understand stock up? Um, you can try to make your own example sentence in the chat or in the comments if you'd like. Uh, stock up. What do you like to stock up on? Okay, let me know in the comments. I think there's a little bit of a delay for us, so I'll check back on your comments, okay? The next phrasal verb is back up, back up. And this is a separable phrasal verb, so this can be separated. So back up something or back something up, okay? Very good. So the meaning of to back up something is to make a copy of information held on a computer to protect against loss, okay? So on your computer or really any kind of device, um, you can also back up your smartphone, for example. Um, if you're backing up 
your files on your computer. You have many files on your computer, for example, documents, photos, things like that, things that you want to make sure are safe. You want to keep them safe. So if anything happens to your computer or if anything happens to your phone, those files are stored somewhere separately and they are safe, okay? So here is my example. It might be a little bit difficult if you're, if you're not familiar with um, uh, technological words, I guess. <laughs> Even though the computer was damaged, my files were safe because I backed them up to a separate hard drive, okay? So if you don't know what a hard drive is, a hard drive is um, you have a hard drive in your computer that keeps all the files, um, but there's also, you, you can have a separate external hard drives and you can put your files on there so you're making sure that they are safe okay hello from myanmar hello from algeria welcome sudan thailand hello hello oh new zealand welcome okay so even though the computer was damaged so my files on my computer Oh no, what happened to them? They might be gone because uh, the computer is damaged. So perhaps my files are also damaged. Uh, but my files were safe because I backed them up to a separate hard drive. So backed them up, okay? Oh, this is a very good one. I had backed up my phone. Very good, yes. Uh, every time I change my phone, I make sure to back it up on my computer. So in case my photos or um, things that I want to keep, if they get um, lost somehow, I make sure to back them up on my computer or back them up on um, an iCloud or something. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining. Okay. So let's go on to the next one, number three, <gasps> fall through. So I know we've talked about this one briefly before, but to fall through or something falls through, okay? So if something falls through, it means something that has been planned or agreed on does not happen, okay? So... For example, you make a plan for dinner or you made a plan for the weekend, but somebody cancels on you, okay? Then you could say your plans fell through, okay? So fall through is, it's kind of like failing, right? Something fails, something does not happen, okay? So you can read my example sentence here. I was going to see a movie this weekend, but my plans fell through. Oh, so maybe my friend canceled or suddenly um, I had to work or something like that. So my plans fell through, okay? Have your plans ever fallen through before? Sometimes my plans fall through. Uh, let's see. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Keep the example sentences coming. If you think you can make an example sentence with uh, fall through, um, you can go ahead and write that in the comments. Ah, my plan to Japan. I think you mean my plan to go to Japan fell through because of the political situation in my country. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, I think over the last uh, few years, <laughs> two years, lots of plans have fallen through, right? Very good. Okay, you guys are very good. Yes, ah, all his plans fell through. Very good. Okay, so we'll go on to the next one. Very good. Okay, number four be into. 
to be into something. This is a very common phrasal ver verb, um, at least in America. You'll hear this a lot. So if someone is into something, it means to be interested or involved with. So to like something very much. You like something very much, so you're into it. You are into it, okay? Be into. I am into yoga these days. So that means I really am interested or I really like yoga, okay? What are you into these days, okay? Let me know. Oh, I see some uh, examples for a fall through. Yesterday, I decided to go fishing, but my plan fell through. Excellent example sentence. Very well written. Good job. Yesterday, I decided to go fishing, but my plan fell through. Good job. Uh, my dreams fall through because of our government. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you can achieve your dreams. Okay. Because of COVID-19, all of my plans fell through. Yes, mine also. <laughs> I think a lot of people. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, into. I am into fishing every day. Very good. I'm, I'm into fishing. I am into fishing. That means you're very interested in fishing. Good. Ah, I'm into improving my speaking skill nowadays. Very good, very good. So if you're really into studying or if you're really into brushing up your English, this is a good one to use. Oh, I am into coffee. Very interesting. I love coffee, but I recently cut out caffeine. Cut out is another phrasal verb that we've learned. Cut out means to take out or eliminate. So I recently cut out caffeine, but I am also into coffee. Very good. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm into learning Bree's English class. Thank you. I'm into swimming. Very good. Uh, I am into football and baseball. I think you meant very good sports. We are into studying with you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> my dreams fall through because of my siblings. Oh, no. Are they causing some trouble? <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you very much. Very good. Oh, very good. I am into learning English with you. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. So we'll go to the next one. This is the last one. End up. End up. So end up has several different meanings. We've talked about end up before, um, but we're going to focus on this meaning today. So end up means to eventually or finally do something. Okay. To eventually or finally do something. Okay. So in my example, <laughs> excuse me, I just couldn't figure out my English homework. So I ended up asking my teacher for help. Okay, so um, the homework was so difficult. I tried to figure it out or I tried to understand it on my own, but eventually I ended up asking my teacher for help. Okay, so sometimes ended up could have um, like uh, an unexpected element. Um, <laughs> but we're going to focus on this meaning, to eventually or finally do something. So I was trying to figure out the problem, trying to figure out the problem, but I just ended up asking my teacher for help. Okay? Very good. Ah, what is the difference between be into and interest in? So... Um, they mean the same thing. Um, so I'm really into something. Um, when you say I'm into something, that means um, that you're kind of like really focused on this one thing. You really, really like this one thing. 
Okay, so it's kind of like your current, um, like current hobby or your current focus. Then interested in, you could be interested in many things um, and maybe your interest varies. I'm really interested. I'm kind of interested. I'm a little interested. I'm not interested. Um, there's like a varying degrees of interest. But if you're into something, you're very, very um, uh, focused on it or you really, really like it, you're really involved in it. So maybe to be into something is a little bit stronger than interested in, in my opinion. Okay, great job. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. I end up doing my project plan. I see. Very good. So finally, uh, you're doing your project plan, you mean? Very good. So maybe um, I, I ended up um, doing my project or planning my project. Very good. Okay. Ah, my daughter drives very well. She ends up asking me for help. Oh, very good. So maybe my daughter drives very well, but she ends up asking me for help. So if you have um, two sentences that are contrasting, maybe you could add but there. Or if you meant my daughter doesn't drive very well, she ends up asking me for help. Very good. So in the end, eventually, uh, she ends up asking for help. Very good. Oh, if you go on like this, you will end up in prison. Very good. Eventually, finally, in the end, you'll be in prison. Very good. Uh, we'll do one more. Uh, let's see. Oh. I end up listening to pop music. Very good. So for example, uh, maybe you had a long day, you come home and you end up listening to pop music at the end of your day. Very good. Okay. Oh, if you go on drinking so much, you may well end up an alcoholic. That's true. Yes. You might eventually become an alcoholic. Yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Ah, let me just make a correction. I ended up my English studies. So um, to end up doing something, okay? So um, usually uh, if you want to say end up, we usually put like doing something. Um, so I ended up, studying English, for example, I ended up studying English. Okay, well done. Very good. Okay, so very good, you guys. Excellent examples. Oops, uh, where did it go? I thought I saw one more I wanted to, to share. Ah, I ended up by loosening the game. Okay, so I think you want to say I ended up losing, like winning, losing. I ended up losing the game. Maybe that is what you meant, but very good. I end up practicing yoga. Very good. So eventually, finally, I end up practicing yoga. Okay. I ended up walking. Yes, very good. Okay, eventually, finally. Okay, so uh, now that we looked at the five phrasal verbs, we are going to take a little quiz, okay? So you need to choose the correct answer. So hopefully you can remember um, all of uh, the ones that we learned today. Okay, so question number one. Before you update your computer, you should mm -hmm, your files first, okay? Do you think it is A, stock up, 
you should stock up your files first. B, back up, or C, end up. Hmm. Oh, very good. I see a correct answer already. Nice job. Okay, I see lots of correct answers. You guys got it. Okay, so before you update your computer, you should back up your files first. So remember, backup means that you are protecting your files by maybe putting them on a separate hard drive. You're putting them in a separate place to keep them safe in case you lose them, okay? Before you update your computer, you should back up your files first. Well done, everybody. I think everybody got that one right. Okay, question number two. I heard there is a sale on toilet paper. Wow, let's something something. Okay, so question number two. Let's stock up, be into, or end up. Hmm. I heard there is a sale on toilet paper. <gasps> what a good deal. Oh, excellent job, everyone. Nice. Alom, Malik, Omer. Very good. Basilio, Sony, Juan. Very good. Okay. So the correct answer is... I heard there is a sale on toilet paper. Let's stock up. Let's buy a large quantity and we'll use it later, okay? So when there is a sale on something, it is a good chance to stock up, buy a large quantity. Okay, very good. Question three, okay? <laughs> In all seriousness, who really wants to stock up on toilet paper? <laughs> That's a good question. Very good. <laughs> I like that question. Okay. I had plans for dinner, but they were into, backed up, or fell through. Hmm. A, B, or C. I had plans for dinner, but they were into, they backed up they fell through oh you guys are on a roll very good i think a hundred percent you guys got it very good okay i had plans for dinner but they fell through very good they fell through excellent job okay question number four. Oh, uh, if we want to review fell through um, means that you planned something or agreed on something, but it didn't work. So somebody canceled or um, for some reason it was canceled. Okay, fell through. Question number four. I used to, ha ha ha, skiing, but I haven't done it in years. Okay. I used to be into skiing. I used to stock up skiing. I used to back up skiing. Hmm, A, B, or C, what do you think? Oh, Sony said A, very good, Devashka, Hosti, Muhammad. Very good, MD. Okay, well done. I used to be into skiing, but I haven't done it in years. So when you're into something, you really, really like it. And maybe it's like your focus or um, you're kind of obsessed with something. I used to be into skiing, but I haven't done it in years. Okay, very good. And the last question, let's see if you can get it right. Question number five, did you something something calling that girl? Not yet, but I will. Okay, we have, did you back up calling that girl? Did you end up calling that girl? 
or did you fall through calling that girl? Hmm. Okay. Very good, everyone. Okay, I see lots of correct answers. Good job. So the correct answer here is end up, end up. So end up means um, finally, eventually. So maybe um, person B was talking about this girl. Oh, I, I really want to call her. Oh, but should I call her? I don't know. I'm a little nervous, but I want to call her. So maybe a few days later, person A says, did you end up calling that girl? Did you finally call that girl? Did you eventually call that girl? So did you end up calling that girl? Okay, gerund. Did you end up calling that girl? Uh, not yet, but I will. Not yet, but I will. Very good. Okay, excellent job. Um, I think I saw a question um, that I wanted to answer. Skiing means, okay, so if you don't know what skiing is, that was, uh, what question was it? Uh, I used to be into skiing. So uh, it might look a little bit funny because it has two eyes, but if you cover up ing, it's S-K-I. So to ski is when you're on like snowy mountain and um, you're you have your feet and there's like two long things and you have poles and you shoo, shoo, down the mountain. Shoo, shoo. That is skiing. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Okay. Oh, very good, everybody. So, uh, ah, calling means associate with her. So that was the last question. And um, did you end up calling that girl? So um, in this case, calling means like, did you end up calling her? Hello? Did you end up calling her? Very good. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Very good. Oh, wow. Great job. Stock up by a large quantity. I had plans for dinner, but they fell through. Be careful. Not fail, but fell through. I used to be into skiing, but I haven't done it in years. Did you end up calling that girl? Not yet, but I will. End up, finally, eventually. Very good. Nice note taking. Well done. Okay. So uh, I'd like to thank you all for uh, watching today's lesson. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you want to know uh, when I go live and when I post new lessons, uh, you can subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook and TikTok. Okay. Yes, that's right. That's skiing. Very good. Okay. So thank you so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you have any lesson suggestions, uh, don't be shy. You can leave them in the comments. Um, also, if you'd like to make some example sentences with the five phrasal verbs that we learned today, um, please go ahead and do that. I always like to check the comments and see your guys' um, examples. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you again very soon. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day.